This is what it takes to make a thousand horsepower. I like the sound of that. Oh my God. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have something super exciting and super special for you guys. This is a change that I've been wanting to make for a long time. So we just pulled up to Gavin's house and we're gonna be supercharging this thing. So now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Before we get started today, I have to say thank you to ESS Tuning, thank you to Hellhorse Performance, and thank you to Gavin, of course, it's just a six. We got an ESS Tuning Supercharger. Now, everything in here should fit on this tiny ass table. It's such a simple install, we should hopefully be able to do all of it today. This is what I'm really looking forward to. I wanna see this thing unboxed. Oh my God, it's black. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna be black. Ooh, look at this. Billet everything. Oh my God, and the pulleys are already mounted onto it. Oh, I'm about to nut. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that is gonna look so cool. This is the entire supercharger kit right here. This is what it takes to make a thousand horsepower. I mean, different fuel pump, but like, this is what it takes to make 700 horsepower. So now that we got the car jacked up, the very first step for getting this whole thing started is taking off the front bumper. Just stick your fingers in there and pull as hard as you can. Oh man, I was gonna see if you actually were. <laughs> and just like that, the bumper comes off. This thing's gonna be way louder than the exhaust. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. All right, we got the battery cable out the way now. This can come off and I've already loosened this. There we go. Should we put the engine cover back on or? Cool, I was under that impression too. I hate this engine cover. This is one of the ugliest things Ford's done in a while. Okay, now to get the intake out the way. The sound tube, get that out the way. Unplug your mass airflow sensor. There we go. Mm, come here. Oh. Oh. I took the intake off and now we have access to put air in there. Can you poke that? Yes, but you shouldn't. It's really not a big deal, but like a lot of people would be upset. Why don't you do it then? Because it's, I don't need to. And just like that, the entire engine bay is pretty much just. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> yes, do not drink that. It'll paralyze you. <laughs> so we are reusing the stock hose. Yes, you reuse the stock hose and you actually cut off about an inch of it. So that way it sits towards the engine a little bit further. Cool. And that's to clear up a little bit of room for whenever you have the pulleys on the supercharger because it fits right here. So now this should rotate and oh, voila. Ooh. So now next up, we replace another radiator hose. Just like that. Bam. You guys are making it. It it just, easy. It's just time consuming. If you follow the instructions, it's pretty simple. <laughs> Beautiful, Danny. Slip that slip. one goes right there, and then this one slip off. It's right there. Boop. I'll steal your belt real fast. Boy. Oh, <laughs> don't steal my belt, my pants fall down. We're installing our first bit of bracketry right here. The very first one. It goes onto the top of the alternator. I'm gonna Beautiful. snug it down. That's pretty tight. All right, very first bracket getting placed into position. Probably on this bolt right here, there's gonna be an idler and we have to trim this so that way it'll clear. Wow, I definitely gotta clean up this engine bay now that there's just shiny ass billet stuff everywhere. Yeah, this is awful. I would've done that before. Wow, they're just, <laughs> I'm it's, gonna my, keep those it's my daily bro. This is a, very nice kit to install. This yeah, is this really is actually is. pretty straightforward. Damn, that looks good, dude. Wait. Yeah, actually, that's next. <laughs> oh, shit, really? And I gotta clock it right and make sure it slips in. It's like, there, there we go. go. How you feel? You have a boosted car now. I have, have a, a boosted car. Mustang. You have now. a supercharged Mustang. I'm so excited for this, dude. I'm more excited for this probably than boosting the Z, yeah, I would say. Sure. The Z be needed to be boosted, be, but this, this is gonna be- I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, this look, is gonna be the Z's wild. cool. This is gonna really open your fucking eyes. To, oh, like, I know. That's, what I'm, that's why I'm so <laughs> excited for it, bro. Oh uh, yeah, they're tight. Ow, son of a bitch. Oh, just go. 
to do it. I want, I want to do one of those things where I just. Bad oh yeah, I smashed my pinky into the bracket trying to pull the socket out. Oh, damn. What are you talking about? <laughs> really tight. <laughs> now we can put the pulley on. Oh. They range all the way from 120 to 105 millimeter. The smallest one possible is a 95. We're gonna start out with the biggest pulley possible, making the lowest amount of horsepower because the car is still running the stock catalytic converters. That and actually, we're, we're only using 93 pump gas. So when later on, whenever the car doesn't have cats anymore or has high flow cats, and then we're running E85, I'm gonna pulley it down and probably make closer to a thousand horsepower. But for now, now, on pump gas, I want it to be reliable. I want to take it to amp and run it on a road course. And I'm still on stock cooling. So until I can get like all Mishimoto parts, for example, don't want to make an obnoxious amount of horsepower and, you know, have it overheat. We put the key in the pulley. The key. The yes, key. there's a key. Oh. It just looks like it's getting ready to eat, bro. It blows a little bit of air out. I don't want to spin it too much without oil in there. Now we can slap the belt in and tell you exactly how to run it. If you look in the pictures, very clear instructions. 20 foot pounds, 20 foot pounds. Assert dominance to your supercharger. All right, 20 foot pounds. There we go. One air duct out. Now we have room for piping. That looks monstrous. This is gonna be so sleeper. Yeah, for Nobody's real. gonna ever know this is there except for the noise that it's making. Yeah, let's say until you start it. Yeah, but <laughs> well, you'll look at it, it's like, wow, that's an oddly stock looking Mustang. Fact. Oh my goodness, it is tight in here, man. Ooh. They're really making use of every bit of space that they have to work with. We could yeah. technically start it as, as sits. And oh, it, no. Oil, oil, oil. 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 Oil in the supercharger. You can't forget that. Oil in the supercharger, oil in the supercharger, oil in the supercharger. Yeah, this is one. Yes. Go, Tony. Pull that purple blood through there. I'm trying. Boom, three ounces. Oh, that is a nice dipstick, that dude. Is. That is the nicest dipstick I've ever seen. Oh, oh, here, stick that in there. Dude, this is about to sound awesome. Sound oh my God, it's gonna sound crazy. Mm, all right, I'm hopping in. We starting this thing. All right, Donnie. All right, you ready? Can we get a cold start? Cold start. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the cable's not uh, on enough. Damn. Try again. I have no ignition. Hang on, just give me a second. Oh, oh, nope, it's gone. Oh, it's back. Oh, nope, it's gone. There it is. It's right there? Yeah, now it's got power. Okay, it's still got power? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Get it. All right. Oh, okay, we got ignition. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so sleeper. People are gonna hear that and raise an eyebrow and be like, what the f is going on? Give it a light so you can hear just the Yeah, go ahead. Now be gentle, don't blow that bitch up. the sound of that. That sounds disgusting. It really does. We did install this in a day. We still got to do the fuel system tomorrow, but we did the whole thing in a day. That's going to be so fun whenever oh it's done. Now we're on day two of working on this thing. The supercharger is pretty much done. All that's left is putting in spark plugs, our new injectors, and then we also have a boost of pump so that way we get plenty of fuel for this. Yeah, more boost, more juice. More boost, more juice. I'm gonna keep this foam out. Yeah, you can. All it's gonna do is create a louder ticking, but you'll like it because we have big injectors. <laughs> yes, we like all the mechanical noise. Yes, sir, new thousand cc injectors. So now unbolting the fuel rails to lift up. So don't pull it straight up. Yeah, I wiggle it slow. These things are in there. Stock seals. Oh yeah, it's leaking like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's going all on that cylinder. It'll just be a little rich on the next startup. Let's we'll start with the front one. One. Okay. All the injectors are out of this side. So we are currently underneath Daniel's trunk, filling some holes to mount up his new booster pop. All right, now I can just take stuff out of the trunk and we can get some wires run. Wow, this is basically a 700 horsepower Mustang now. 
It is a 700 horsepower Mustang now. Yes. It just needs the commands oh of what to do with God. its new powers. What am I gonna do with this new responsibility of horsepower? Do I just go do burnouts immediately? New fucking t Danny. What? Can I do a start? Oh shit, hang on. Gavin's about to start the Mustang up for the first time, and it is almost completely back together, but the, the supercharger kit's done. We're almost like, we're in like the last 2%. Are you ready to hear the first start of your 700 official horsepower Mustang? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. It's got a prime. Still drives like a normal car. It just sounds crazy. Oh my god! Okay, this is this is great. <laughs> I'm so it's in. yeah, it's setting in. All right, let me grab one. God, dude, this is so <laughs> smooth. That's crazy smooth. Damn, it sounds good and feels even better. It's very, very soft. Dude, the drivability is phenomenal. Right, so wow, this sounds. It's not much, but just a little bit. Then we get straight. Yeah, right here. Enough. I'm just letting it nice. get up an RPM. Nothing crazy. That should be an okay data log. At least to see if it's knocking. That, mm -hmm. Have you had a car that has gotten that loose that easy? No. That's, that's like... <laughs> this is wicked. Wildly fast. <laughs> uh, this is awesome.